Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, in a recent episode of This Morning, Omid Scobie accused Piers Morgan of calling for Meghan and Harry to be burned alive. Now, if that isn't a bombshell, I don't know what is. Piers, not one to back down, fired back on his talk TV show, exposing what he alleges to be yet another manipulation of words and an attempt to silence him. Let's dissect this drama. Omid, a royal author, alleges that Piers wrote an op-ed where he advocated for the Sussexes to be set ablaze, a truly grotesque accusation that, if true, would warrant immediate condemnation. However, Piers, armed with evidence, played a clip from the This Morning interview, refuting these claims with a heavy dose of sarcasm. Piers, visibly taken aback, questioned the absurdity of such an allegation. Did I? Wow, that's amazing. I wrote an op-ed piece this week for newspapers, published, who said I want Meghan and Harry burned alive. That's quite something. Why did no one report that? How am I still here? Why am I being cancelled? I was saying they should be burned alive. Wow. Omid. He then proceeded to set the record straight by reading out the actual content of his column published by The Sun. Piers clarified that his words were aimed at the hypothetical scenario of spending Christmas with family members who had been trashing the rest of the family on global media platforms. The phrase human chestnuts roasting on my open fire was used as a metaphorical expression, not a literal call for violence. This revelation is crucial as it exposes the alleged distortion of Piers' words to fit a narrative. The danger of such sensational claims is not just in their absurdity, but in their potential to shape public opinion. Piers, unyielding, declared, Where does it say I burn Meghan and Harry alive, Omid? It's just more lies, isn't it, mate? I see right through you. Now the stage is set for a clash of narratives, one that pits Piers Morgan against Omid Scobie, with accusations of fabrication and manipulation flying from both sides. As the drama unfolds, we are left to question the credibility of these claims and the motives behind such inflammatory accusations. Adding fuel to the fire, Piers named the two senior royals allegedly involved in the race row concerning Meghan, Harry, and their son Archie. He reiterated his disbelief in any racist comments from the royal family, further cementing his stance on the matter. Meanwhile, Omid Scobie denies including the identities of the two senior royals in his original manuscript, claiming innocence and launching an investigation into the matter. The Dutch translator, Saskia Peters, contradicts this, asserting that the titles of the King and Princess of Wales were indeed in the manuscript she received. The controversy takes a sharp turn as allegations of royal family members expressing concerns about Archie's skin color resurface. Meghan and Harry, who initially refrained from naming the individuals involved, sparked a global debate on racially charged views within the monarchy. Omid Scobie's new book, Endgame, adds fuel to this public debate, presenting itself as a catalyst for further discussions on this sensitive matter. In conclusion, the royal drama continues to unfold, with accusations and denials creating a tangled narrative that challenges our perception of the truth. As the spotlight shifts between Piers Morgan and Omid Scobie, one can't help but wonder about the agenda behind these sensational claims and the impact they might have on the ongoing conversation about race, privilege, and the future of the royal family. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.